Hi everybody and welcome to Gorilla Geeks TV. I'm Mike, this is Simon. Hello everyone. Uh, and yeah, this is our first official video on the YouTube channel. We hope you're going to like it. We do apologise if it's a little bit rough. It's our first attempt. Yeah. But we're going to give it our best shot. Um, we had a great day at EGX, didn't we? Amazing day. I'm tired now. Feeling it a bit now. I'm yeah. sure you are as well. But yeah, yeah amazing day really. And um, it's, uh, we play some good games. Yeah. Uh, we've got a podcast that we're going to put on the site yeah. probably later this week where we just, on the journey back, we just talked about what we'd seen that day. Yeah, we were we very played. tired on that. Very well. tired on that. <laughs> but, um, no, I think it was important because it was fresh in our minds yeah. as well, which is really, really good. But yeah, we play some really good games yeah. and uh, yeah. We, uh, well, we're here to actually do uh, our first unboxing video, aren't we? we of a are game indeed. that we discovered yesterday from the board game section yes. of EGX. But before we get to the unboxing, just a few thank yous, really, for yesterday. So we obviously la we launched the um, Facebook page yesterday, so we've had some likes already, which is really good. So really thank you for your support there. Um, we do have a Twitter account set up as well, yeah, we and a YouTube channel. Yes. So I'm going to post the links to both the Twitter and the YouTube in the description on our Facebook page later today, so please go and have a look at those. The YouTube channel probably won't be ready till late this afternoon, um, just because we want to make sure that that's um, looking good. Yep. Um, so that'll be on there alongside um, this video as well. Um, I'll also put this video in the Facebook just um, to sort of get people to have a look. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for your support so it's really much appreciated. Yeah. We're very um, new to this. So, yeah. um, I mean, we recorded a podcast yesterday, didn't we? we uh, did, yeah, uh, sort yeah. of the rundown of the day and our reviews mm -hmm. of the games that we played. Yeah. Um, it, we were quite tired, weren't we? We were actually quite tired this morning, aren't we? Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was quite a long was day. A lot of walking around, yeah. you forget these things. Yeah, so I think I my, uh, my Fitbit uh, exploded <laughs> with the amount Melted of walking. On, yeah. uh, and queuing, actually. Yeah. Uh, queuing but we was, loved it, still wearing the still wearing the wristbands. So, yeah. They're really good fun. Yeah. Uh, just a bit of housekeeping as well. So obviously, you thank you. Good cleaning the house, are you? Yeah. Do, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do a Hoover on camera for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna unbox the new Hoover. No. Um, no. What uh, we used to talk about is the future of the channel, really. So and our ideas and our aspirations. So this will be the first video that we post on both the Facebook and the YouTube. Um, we are gonna post, like Mike said, another video about EGX and a bit of a, like a montage of the day, and. Um, Future videos that will go forward, like let's plays. We're gonna yeah. do some streaming from things like Twitch yeah. and uh, Mixer on on uh, consoles. So we're gonna do a bit around that as well. Um, we've got some very interesting let's plays we want to do. We're not gonna ruin anything now. Yeah, we're not gonna. But please it. look out for one of our let's plays very very soon. Yeah, uh, which we think hopefully you're gonna find. We're gonna make fun fun. We're gonna make them quite funny as well. I think in places. But we're gonna try. We'll let you be the judge of that. Yeah. Yeah, you might not like the comment. Um, but no, we do, you know, that's, so that's the future, that's really yeah. our aspiration. It's not just going to be games, like Mike said, it's TV shows, movies, gadgets. Yeah. You know, we do, it's your channel, essentially. So. And not just video games, which is actually what we're going to talk about mm. today, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And it's your channel, so please comment, uh, message us, you know, your ideas, what you like about it, what you don't like, you know, what we can do, you know, what we can do better going forward. Yeah. Uh, what you, you know, just please give us your feedback because feedback's really important. We won't evolve the channel and ourselves without your feedback. And you've so, been trying to evolve for years, exactly. so yeah. um, <laughs> as you can see, the comedy is not really evolving. Um, but um, yeah, please, um, yeah, please, yeah, please give us your comments because it's really important. Feedback is absolutely vital. Yeah, in so way. we're going to go and talk about the game that we found yesterday. Yes, um, yeah. it was very intriguing. We uh, we came across it and just fell in love with it straight away. Yeah, really. We're going to have a video of uh, of that coming up in in a yes. little bit. But yeah. let's talk about the game first. What's it called? Quick and dirty. It's quick and quick dirty. And dirty. Yeah, it's yes, really, really good. Yeah, I actually um, have the expansion pack here as well, which is yeah. also quick and dirty. The flirty fun Ooh, pack. I picked up the pink one. It's my favourite colour. Yeah. But, um, it was really good. We kind of stumbled across it. Didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. we saw um, there's a board game section at um, EGX now, so we thought oh, we'll have a look over there. And we sort of saw this stand. It was quite well placed as well. So and we went up and we thought, oh, it looks a bit like Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. Which we now I love Cards Against Humanity. Amazing, it's it's one of my favourite. So I'd games. say it's sort of inspired by that. Um, but you have to kind of think of your own scenarios as such. Yes. Um, so it's a bit more thinking on your feet. Yeah. And it's a bit of a quicker game as well. You can. Um, there is an age rating, 17 yep. or 17 plus. Yeah. Um, 2 to 20 players, 5 to 30 minute sort of rounds. Very much a drinking game as well, so if you've got a party happening, then it's definitely worth, a bit like Cardi H, really worth playing that. Um, we are going to do a slight unboxing soon, so you'll get to see us unbox the game. 
yeah. and have a look. And we do have, like Mike just said, we do have a video with the actual developer yeah. of the game. It's very so kind to do really a, kind a, for a us little to do demonstration for this. So we're going to put that into this uh, video as well. Yeah. And we're also going to put a link to his website on our Facebook and our Twitter. And they'll be in the comments, you can get them from the yeah, comments. Yeah, get those from the comments. Please um, go to his website, have a look. I don't think it's available to buy online yet. He did say it's it will be soon. soon. Yeah. Uh, but you can definitely follow him and contact him. Yeah, definitely. And, yeah, uh, find out more information. Yeah, find out more information. There's other packs as well. There was like more. Yeah, there was some American themed there. packs, wasn't there, yeah. that we saw. Um, uh, but we went with these ones. But yeah, um, really and it, it's a good game. I mean, you have two sets of cards. It's a little bit like, say, Cards Against Humanity, where you have, yeah. you yeah, have yeah. two sets of cards. You have a, a, a black card and a white card, I believe. Again, it's a yeah. little bit like Cards Against yeah. Humanity. Now, on the black card, you have uh, a sentence, and they're quite rude. Yes. They are quite <laughs> rude. <laughs> Um, and then on the white card you have a letter. Yes. Um, now we'll, you'll get to see this in the uh, in the video, which we'll show you very very shortly. Um, and basically, you place the black card down with the sentence, and the white card down with the word. Uh, and then the first person to shout out uh, a word, sentence, or phrase that correlates with the letter that's been put down and mm. the sentence wins the card. Sounds complicated, but it's not. It's no, a lot of fun. No, I mean, we were laughing. Uh, we were definitely laughing our socks off, weren't we? Yeah, and they do really also fun. do it as a drinking game because they had shot glasses and yeah. uh, pint glasses as well that with you take like sips uh, as and well. It's, it's as rude as you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how dirty your mind is, really. Yeah. Um, Actually, how, I'd be intrigued to see if they did um, a family-friendly version of this game. That would be yeah. That would be very well. good. Yeah. Um, I think it's easier to show yeah. it on a Let's Play. Should we do Let's Play? Should we hand yeah, it over so, to the developer? Yeah, um, so we'll hand over to the developer now. So have yeah. a look at, I think it's myself and the developer playing the game. You'll see how bad I am at it yeah. um, so far. But yeah, yeah it's, it's really good fun. So um, please enjoy that video. Yeah. Over to him. All right, so this is Quick and Dirty. It's a new party game, first time in England. It's real simple. You have a category come out, then you have a letter come out. You want to be the first person to shout an answer that starts with that letter. It's the category. So, bad time for a boner, starting with the letter C. <laughs> terrible, you get that. You get that chart to keep score, and right on to the next round. So things that happen in Vegas, starting with the letter L. Um, Leppers. Money. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's good one. Sure. Bad thing to put in your ass, starting with the letter D. Dildo. Dildo, there we go. Something gays like, starting with the letter N. Nudity, there we go. <laughs> Things that arouse women, starting with the letter F. Four play. There we go, there we go. That's brilliant, thank you, mate. A bad place to stick a penis, starting with the letter S. Sewer. Sewer. So here's Simon unboxing uh, Quick and Dirty. We're going to have a look at this, see what yes. we got. Getting the cellophane off. He's like a kid at Christmas. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, okay, right, what have you got? Let's, have a look. Let's get that off first. Mm, okay, quite a lot of cards considering, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's... Oh, so we have. Oh, is that the instructions? Yeah, you've got instructions. Got the instructions there. Uh, like I said, the, there's the black, that's the black cards. Yeah. Okay, you've so got you've some got... white cards. Oh, right, so you've got different sets of instructions. So you have, obviously, links to their website and yeah. some bobs there, an email. Um, so you've got, there's three great ways to play finger play. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take it out what you will. It does say that. I'm not just saying that. So that's two to twenty players, ten to twenty-five minutes. It's the easiest setting. So big groups, pre-games, parties. So that's just there. You've got party play, which is two to eight players, minutes to play between five and fifteen. Difficulty is moderate. Great for parties, bar, bars, pre-games, game nights, that kind of thing. Then you've got judge play, which is three to six players. 15 to 30 minutes is the hardest setting and again they suggest game nights experienced players so that's that uh, you've got the rules so you set up so you put the back pile and the white pile face down you then flip a black category card read it out loud then immediately flip over a white card first to call out an answer starting with the letter that fits the category wins the round winner takes the black card to keep the score champion is whoever finishes with the most um, there's more rules there You've then got, so what was the first one? We had finger play, didn't we? This is interesting, finger play. Okay, so finger play, you place a, a card face, 
sorry, place a face down pile of category cards only, no letters are used. All players hold five fingers up. Any player flips a category card and reads it aloud. Prior round loser will flip the next round. Players on the left now have five seconds to yell an answer. The answer can start with any letter. Next player on the left now has five seconds to yell another answer. No one may repeat the answers. Continue around the circle until a player is unable to give an answer within five seconds. Round loser loses, sorry, round loser lowers one finger to keep the score. Lose all five and you're out. The last survivor wins. Sounds quite interesting. And we've got tips on the back of there as well. And then you've got judge play, which is put the black pile and the white pile face down. One player is the initial judge. Judge reads a black category card aloud then hands out a letter to each player. Players then have 10 seconds to think of an answer, starting with their own letter card, then go clockwise around the group and have each player say their answer or pass. Once all players have answered or passed, the judge decides their favourite answer. Winner gets the black card to keep score. Player on the judge's left is now the new round judge. So some interesting bits there and some nice different ways, different way, different ways, different ways to play. Uh, so you've got your, there you go, so that's your black cards there. So examples could be reason you scream and then you've got your letter. Yeah. Uh, which was why in that case. Um, so yeah, really interesting game, I thought. Um, yeah, I mean, we particularly yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. So there you have it. That is our unboxing and let's play of uh, Quick and Dirty. We do hope you've enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, thank you for watching today. Um, now, like we say, this is our first video. Um, but we do hope you've enjoyed it. We've got another video coming up shortly, haven't we? We have indeed, yes. We've got uh, basically a montage, a summary of our day at EGX. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to be a very long video. It's just going to kind of give you an idea of what, what it's like, like there. What um, we saw, what, what we, we experienced. Saw, what we experienced. There's no sort of interviews with developers or anything like that. That may come in the future of our channel, maybe next year we or the year after. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just going to give you an idea of what EGX is like if you've never been. Uh, and then we have our first Let's Play yeah. or um, sort of uh, stream of a game um, that we can't talk about just yet, um, but we are going to sort of reveal that very shortly and we hope you enjoy that. It's going to be a bit of fun, I hope. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have future things like that as well. Going yeah. So thanks for watching today. Stick around. We'll bring you the latest news when we have it. Yes. Uh, we'll try and keep it up to date with uh, the latest movies, news, uh, video games, yeah. board games. And TV shows. And like I said, don't forget to, like I said earlier on, don't forget to comment, give us your feedback, like us on Facebook, but also follow us on Facebook yeah. so you can keep up to date with what we're doing. And same on Twitter, follow us on Twitter. And um, like I said, look out for that YouTube channel. It'll be Gorilla Geeks TV. It's the name of the channel, I believe, isn't it? Yes. That's what we get. So yes. we're going to try and keep it all the same. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Uh, from myself, Mike. Simon. This is the Gorilla Geeks signing out. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye.